everyone my name is rushikesh and right now i am in ingolstadt specifically in technische hochschule ingolstadt what i am doing here at the university well i came here to shoot a insights video on one of the master course at thi now you may ask what is insights video i am running a video series called insights videos and as part of the series i travel to different universities in germany make videos on courses you are interested to study as an international student and provide you all the information in a single video so today's video is on masters in engineering and management at thi most of the time i speak to students and ask them about their experience or courses or um, jobs or living expenses in the city etc but in this video i am also going to talk to one of the professors the course director so let's get started with insights into engineering and management at thi so i have professor alvarez with me from hochschule ingolstadt he is course director of engineering and management course and we are going to ask him few questions and let's get to know about the details of of the course directly from him so first of all thank you so much and welcome to my channel it it's a great pleasure that we are meeting on a saturday here so can you introduce yourself yes of course uh, so uh, thanks for the opportunity yeah. to inform your audience uh, about our very successful engineering and management program yeah. Uh, so my name is Tobias Albrecht. Um, I'm the program director of of that uh, course, and I started my academic uh, career by studying business administration uh, here in Germany. After that, I um, changed uh, to an MBA program uh, to the United States. Came back and. Uh, did my phd program here in germany and i started my career in a venture capital uh, company mm -hmm. and uh, after several years of working there i decided uh, to start my own business and i did that uh, for more than 10 years and uh, after that time it was really intensive but i learned a lot and uh, it was quite a really nice experience and um i thought okay what can i do next and uh, till that time i got the opportunity to become a professor here in ingolstadt mm -hmm. and that's the reason why we are standing here that's great i mean sounds like we have a lot of experience over here and you there will be so much to learn from you for the students here it looks like that what can you tell us about the engineering and management course here what is it all about how is it structured here well um our engineering and management course is uh, or has really a broad variety of of different technologies where you can look at mm -hmm. and uh, in the first two semesters um, you get really tons of opportunities mm -hmm. uh, what you can uh, study and have a much more detailed look starting by um, digitalization uh, digital producing um, software engineering and even maybe corporate social responsibility yeah. and in the third semester um you have the opportunity and you got the time to to write your master thesis mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um you also have the possibility during or with our electives mm -hmm. to choose different fields where you are really interested in okay. mm -hmm. and that makes the study really flexible for you and, right. and very individual so what kind of these uh, fields are what kind of special specialization are these where students can pursue so more or less the whole variety the <laughs> the the university offers okay um it starts really from uh, doing maybe machine learning uh, artificial intelligence yeah. going through um detailed constructions right. really it's it's really broad right so as the course suggests it means like as the name indicates engineering and, and management. management so we have like lot of options over here <laughs> it seems so what kind of jobs would students get afterwards when they finish the course or uh, what roles would they play in industry yeah so um our uh, students have a lot of options because okay. um they can work in nearly every technology driven industry mm -hmm. maybe starting with uh, in the automotive industry uh, you can also work in the software development industry and you can also work in the consultant industry yeah. so you have nearly all possibilities uh, you can get and it really depends on the uh single student uh, which specific aspects he or she really likes the most okay. and uh it is really individual mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. starting with sales procurement uh, consulting 
nearly every management position is possible with okay. that uh, program okay. and that makes it so successful to our students. Definitely. What would you like to tell the upcoming students that they should come prepared for this course? Yeah. Of course, you must have a really a huge interest in, in technologies and it doesn't matter uh, what you have done in the past, in, in which technology area. So maybe if you are studying uh, mechanical engineering or civil engineering or chemistry or whatever, so everything is welcome, but you must have that, that uh, technology gene to start working with us mm -hmm. and um, then you can really have a much more detailed look to a specific technology fields and um, that really helps you to become really successful um, in, in your career when you have finished that program. Right. Sounds good. So thank you so much yeah. for meeting me. It was a real pleasure. Yeah. And Thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you. Bye bye. All right. So that's the information we got from engineering and management course director itself. But you would be also interested to know perspective of students. How is it like living here in Ingolstadt? What kind of, like, how much expenses? So we are going to meet one of my friends here. Uh, Soham, can you come in? Yeah. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, good. good you? Good. I'm good too. Yeah. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah. Hello, guys. Uh, I am Soham Jain. I am from Maharashtra, India. Uh, I am currently pursuing my master's in engineering and management field. Mm -hmm. uh, before coming to Germany, I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering uh, from Pune University. I had 1.3 uh, GPA there. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I had uh, experience, one year experience as a graduate engineer trainee. Okay. And also, I did one internship before coming. Ah, so, so, that was all okay. about me. All right. What is it like for you, the course over here in THI? What can you tell about that? What's the specialization that you are doing or anything? Yeah, the overall course is very good and it is mostly industry oriented. Mm -hmm. So in the course, it is uh, not uh, like a uh, specific about one field. Mm -hmm. It is a generalized course and uh, uh, we will we will have a, a vast expose of different fields like uh, digital marketing, then uh, entrepreneurship, uh, finance, IT and uh, manufacturing also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, talking about my batch, like it's very uh, diverse international culture. Okay. So, uh, you will get a vast uh, international exposure there. Also, uh, the course is mostly about a project oriented course. So, uh, which help us to build our management skills. Okay. And how is it like living here for you in Ingolstadt? What's, what's the typical day? How do you feel living in Ingolstadt? Living in Ingolstadt is quite peaceful mm -hmm. compared to the big cities like Munich, uh, Berlin or mm -hmm. Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. uh, the Ingolstadt is a small city okay. and uh, I am currently living in a city center. So it is a, like you can access all the facilities from there like uh, shopping markets, then grocery stores, mm -hmm. also clinics, banks, okay. everything is available there. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So now coming to the living expenses, how yeah. much do you have to pay here? Then what would be the monthly cost for a student here in Ingolstadt? So the monthly cost uh, for myself goes to 900 to 950 mm -hmm. euros mm -hmm. per month. Mm -hmm. The major contribution of the expenses is for the rent, house yeah. rent, yeah. and which is around 450 to 500 euros per month, which is quite expensive in Ingolstadt. The next thing is health insurance, which cost around 120 to 125 euros per month. Mm -hmm. The next is uh, for the food expenses. So uh, basically average cost is 150 to 200 euros uh, yeah. per month. And there are three to four more expenses like transportation cost, yeah. like uh, excluding your uh, semester contribution fee for your THI. Mm -hmm. You have to uh, purchase a, a student a semester student card and that cost around 120 euros for six months. Uh, also, you have to pay Wi-Fi bills, your mobile yeah. data bills yeah. and the radio bills. Mm -hmm. So overall, it goes to 900 to 950. Yeah, I am guessing that because like because of the inflation and all the rents. Yeah, has, the rents are the very rents are high. Increased and because of that, the overall living cost has also increased. Yeah. It doesn't matter in small cities like Ingolstadt as well. Yeah, also yeah. I want to add one point. To get accommodation in Ingolstadt is very tough. Mm -hmm. So if you are planning to come here or uh, you got admission, you should start uh, finding accommodation as soon as possible because it's very tough to get here. Mm -hmm. And if you are planning to live here in uh, city center or near to university, mm -hmm. so it's very difficult. So you should be very uh, quick to find accommodation. Okay, so now that we are talking about money and expenses, how much uh, tuition fee or how much course fee you have to pay per semester to the university? Yeah, so uh, for university, the only semester fee is 67 euros 
and that's all but uh, it is uh, it doesn't include any transportation cost okay all right so then you have to like as you mentioned you have to purchase a we have to ticket. purchase a different semester but student yeah. semester ticket but since you are a student it will cost you 120 euros for yeah, 6 months for 6 months yeah. Yeah. yeah okay now let's talk about part time jobs uh, do you work part time and what kind of opportunities are available in your field here in ingostad So yeah, I work for a part-time job here in a, one of the company, and I manage my funds uh, doing the part-time job there. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are many opportunities available here as okay. a part-time. Okay. So if you are talking about to work as a part-time in your field, mm-hmm. then you have many companies here like Audi, um, then Airbus, mm-hmm. Adag, or Continental. Okay. So you can find work student or internship there. Mm-hmm. Also, like if you are talking to get uh, part-time as in uh, different places like mm-hmm. in the restaurants mm-hmm. or. Um, Uh, shopping centers malls mm-hmm. cafes so mm-hmm. you have that opportunities also so in short uh, you can do part time as well as studies together okay. and you can manage your funds all right now just last question for you yeah what would you like to tell the upcoming students like in a student perspective they got to know about what they have to come prepared from the professor side mm-hmm. what would you tell as a student what what they should come prepared here yeah so the most important thing i would suggest for the upcoming students is to learn german as a uh, in management field all the jobs are only in german so you have to prepare for it and if you are doing uh, like for master course we need only a1 level german mm-hmm. but that is not enough here after uh, coming here okay. so for job you have to prepare at least for b1 or b2 level you should have mm-hmm. so that is my suggestion and if you have any kind of work experience in a management field that is a add on for them okay yeah. all right all right i think that's a wonderful uh inputs that you gave for the upcoming students and i'm sure that they'll come in handy for them in the end now that we are coming to the end of our video uh, what would you like to tell them so guys like comment share and subscribe to his channel also share the video with the upcoming students thank you so much yep thank you so that's all in this video if you want me to make videos on another topic do let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one bye bye